Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'm taking you to Canada's first cashierless grocery store, aisle 24 in downtown Toronto. The store I went to was located in the Canary District in River City 4. And this is not, not actually a grocery store, you can say more like a next door convenience store. And in order to enter the store, you have to install the app and you're going to be using the app to open the door. So once you have the app ready, you have to tap it uh, on the door to unlock the door. So the store was not too big, uh, not too small. It's a uh, you know, a medium-sized store, and everything was neat and clean, and uh, most of the items were, you know, there, and uh, it's uh, nice to, you know, just walk around, and I haven't seen anyone when I was there, and I was expecting the prices to be higher than a regular convenience store, but I was surprised to see that you know prices actually are very comparable and even sometimes they're lower. I saw a coffee machine but it looked like a coffee machine has to be paid separately it's not part of uh, the store shopping and I'm going to show you some of the prices uh, just to you know give you an idea and this is the you know sandwich and drink section but here I couldn't see any prices on the sandwiches and this is the ice cream section so these are uh, 329 which is very comparable and there's uh, some you know candies and gum and some potato chips uh, this felt like a little bit uh, higher price than regular grocery stores then we have here coke and I couldn't see any prices of the coke uh, so some of the items I they don't have prices on it and here we have Oreo cookie which is uh, five dollars and then we have bread uh, four dollars here 399 uh, which is very you know comparable with other grocery stores and then we have some salad, salad dressing and this is the sandwich uh, but I couldn't see any prices on the sandwiches and I actually went through a few of them but none of them had prices so this is regular Advil, Tylenol and that sort of stuff and prices were very comparable uh, the actually tooth floss was cheaper than a uh, grocery store or big brand grocery stores We have here pasta sauce, a very comparable price, and then uh, we have here spaghetti, which was also, you know, prices were fairly comparable. Uh, the, some of the sauces were actually cheaper than big uh, brand grocery stores. So here it just tells you like you know, how to install the app. Then uh, I found uh, the Red Bull and some other drinks actually were cheaper than, uh, you know, next door convenience store or even big brand grocery stores. So here we have uh, bowl noodles, and which is actually I feel they were cheaper. Noodles was uh, tuna was very cheap, uh, two hundred to forty nine, which is cheaper than definitely convenience stores then can soup or box soup they were also comparable then uh, 199 for hash brown very actually this is cheaper than uh, grocery store then uh, frozen food was comparable uh, four dollars and we had some burritos and frozen uh, food section here I found this is slightly higher than big brand grocery store but not a lot it's still comparable and then frozen pizza 
was also, you know, uh, very popular with uh, grocery stores. Um, cereal bars and cereal blocks, I found them a little bit more expensive than grocery stores, but uh, still okay. Then you have ketchup, mayo, which are very, you know, reasonably priced, uh, not overpriced at all. Olive oil was slightly higher but still comparable and then I saw some you know cheese which was fairly priced uh, I would say even some of them were cheaper than big brand grocery stores I found yogurt was slightly higher priced and uh, then milk was you know comparable too And I couldn't find any prices for the water and Tropicana, uh, so I couldn't actually see if they were higher or comparable prices. Paper towel, toilet paper, I felt a little bit in you know, a higher, but which is uh, okay, it's not too high, uh, but it's not actually cheaper uh, like some of the other items I saw. Uh, dog and cat foods were very comparable prices, 179 uh, and then uh, cat food here, I believe 129 um, So this is very, you know, fairly priced uh, products, uh, given the fact that this is a next door convenience store. So when you uh, check out, it's confusing because if you just scan it, it's going to give you an error message. So you have to actually add it to the cart first, but it doesn't say anywhere. Then you have to check out, and then uh, you have to scan your credit card. Uh, you cannot pay with the app. So it's not like Amazon automated store they have in the US, uh, where you don't have to actually scan anything. And then once you go out, uh, you have to actually close one door first to open the final door. So if you don't open the door behind you, it's going to it's not going to open so that's something to remember so thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you